we really haven't seen any recovery in housing in three years. I'm talking about employment, construction, and prices. It's gone nowhere. Um, so we really have a very complicated set of problems in that sector. Um, there have been a series of programs over the last few years directly aimed at helping the housing market. Uh, two, I mean, there, are, there have been a number of programs, but I think you can put them in two categories. And one is the set of programs that are aimed at the foreclosure crisis. So either trying to prevent foreclosures or trying to uh, mitigate the costs of foreclosures um, that do, do occur. So that's one set of programs. The other set of programs um, are these uh, refinancing programs. You just mentioned one. And the background there is that the Fed has been working hard to reduce interest rates um, you know, one of the most widely quoted mortgage rates right now, the Freddie Mac mortgage rate, uh, is now close to 4%. So that's a really low level. Um, but if people can't actually get mortgages at that interest rate, it's not going to do the good for the economy that the Fed is ordinarily able to do. So these refinancing programs, um, including the one announced yesterday, they're not really about foreclosure prevention. They're really about, as, as the, the president said yesterday, it's, it's like a tax cut. It's about putting more money into people's pockets because people can refinance into lower rate loans that have lower monthly payments, and that will stimulate the economy. Um, none of these programs have delivered as promised. And there are a host of reasons why that is so. Um, some of those reasons have to do with um, poor execution. The financial institutions who were supposed to implement these programs just found that they were overwhelmed uh, with meeting the qualifications. So again, it's hard to point fingers at whether it was the design of the program or whether it was the financial institutions. Um, and then there's some big fundamental design issues. So one of the biggest design issues is that None of these programs were really aimed at one of our biggest problems, which is underwater households. Right. So we have 11 million households who have mortgages that now exceed the value of their homes. Uh, it's $700 billion worth of mortgages. And um, some of these programs are kind of nibbling at the issue. Um, but really, um, it's a hard, hard problem to tackle. The banks aren't going to do it by themselves. Uh, the issue there is that 72% of underwater mortgages um, are actually current, meaning people are making those payments. So to wipe out all that debt for everyone, including the guys who are current, right. that would be enormously costly for the, the banks. Um, so you know, how could you induce the banks? Well, you, know, you could put taxpayer dollars into it. But that's raising real issues of fairness. Yep. And that's a highly contentious issue politically. And I just don't see it, right. see it happening. So, you know, in terms of kind of the existing programs that we've been trying, yeah, they're good and we should continue to do them, um, but they're not getting at some of our biggest problems.